Okay, hi guys. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do the blood stain lab uh, where we change the height of the drop. And so in order to do this, this is something we would normally do in class, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can do this at home. Um, Isaac is going to be my lab assistant. Are you ready to help? Okay. So what you're going to need is some um, paper. Okay, so you should have paper. You can use any kind of paper. Uh, preferably white, just so you can see. Um, you're going to need a ruler or some sort of measuring device. So I have some measuring tape and this can work to figure out how high we need to drop it and also to measure the diameter of the drops at the end. If you don't have measuring tape or rulers or meter sticks or yardsticks or anything like that at home, there are a few things you can use instead. Um, I found, in terms of a ruler, I found like a free app on my phone that is, is a ruler. Um, it asked me to upgrade if I want to measure in inches, but we can just use centimeters. That's what we should be using. Um, so you don't need to pay for anything. You can get a ruler on your phone very easily. Um, also, for the height, you know, you could get creative. It doesn't need to be exact. The the point is you're just going to need something. You're going to need to measure the same distance four times. So like you could use a banana. This would be one height. And then for the next one, that's two heights. And then the next one and keep going up. So it doesn't need to be exact because I know we don't all have the same materials, but that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to need something to represent blood. Uh, let me just say, you're not allowed to use real blood for this activity. Why? Because I don't know where they're getting it from. Okay, so no real blood. Um, what I'm going to use, I have grape juice. Okay, you can use any liquid that is not clear. Uh, so use some sort of colored liquid. Uh, you could use, you know, cold coffee. You could use, uh, if you have like Kool-Aid or, I don't know, any kind of, thing that will be colored so that you can see it. Uh, you probably could do it with regular water, but I think it would be easier with something like this. And then you need a dropper. Now, if you don't have a dropper, what we could do is you could just take like your pinky and dip it in and then let one drop fall. Uh, but that's all you really need. So, are you ready to try this lab? Okay. Um, I told him he gets to drink the grape juice when we're done. So. You're going to t put your piece of paper on the ground, or on the surface, and you're going to measure 25, 25 centimeters, or about 10 inches. And so we're going to drop it from this height. So Isaac, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to ask you to dip your finger. You pick one finger. Which one? You can use that one. We're going to dip your finger in the grape juice, okay, and then let's do one drop right here. Wait, we need more grape juice. Okay, get it all wet, and then one drop. Okay, lick your finger. I'll just do it because, I don't know, it's sticking to him. Okay, so I put it in, and I do... One drop. Man, this worked before. Here we go. There, one drop. Okay? So, we can see my drop right there. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I could, I could circle it or whatever. But what I'm going to do is just the colored part. Because already I see the liquid starting to spread through the paper. But just the colored part I can still make out. So I'm just going to use my measuring tape to measure it, or a ruler, or the app on my phone. And uh, I'm going to measure it in, you know, centimeters or inches, whichever you have, um, and put that on your data table. Uh, you're going to do, eat, for each height, you're going to do three drops, and then, uh, and then calculate an average. And then for the next one, uh, you're going to... And then for the next one, you'll do the next height, which would be 50. 
centimeters. So next higher height, and then you'll measure those. And you're going to do that for, you know, for 50, 75, and 100 centimeters just to see how the diameters of the drops change. Then you'll make a graph and answer some questions. Any questions? No. no. Okay, good. Thank you. Good luck and have fun.